Hello guys, my name is Luca and I'm back with some more Detroit Become Human. In the previous episode we finally escaped the house of Skara and Alice and we witnessed an android deviant being captured by Connor and Hank and we also witnessed Marcus becoming a deviant. Unfortunately Carl died in my playthrough and Leo the asshole was left behind alive and I suspect there will be a lot of problems with that guy. But, without further ado, let's get on with the interrogation. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Ooh, who's that guy? How long were you in the attic? Probably 19 days. Why didn't you even try to run away? Well, tell the truth, come on. You were in self-defense. Say something, goddammit! Typical. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Okay. So, now it's Connor's turn. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Ooh. I'll have to look out for that, that then. I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcastic asshole. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay, we're taking up the case. Wait, hold on. What can I do? What the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> now I just made a complete fool out of myself. Let me browse the file. What about him? Okay. Time for me to sit. Let's see. Oh. Okay. That's all of his blood. And we have some of Android blood. Oh. But that looks nasty, even though it's not critical. And another non critical wound. Oh. Dude. Now I feel less and less sorry for Carlos. Jesus. Huh. So he would be like eight years old? Something like that? Ooh. Okay, so he's in yellow and his stress level is not that high yet. Okay, 45%. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Too low. Okay, looks like I will have to rough it up a little bit. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I'm not going to hurt you. I 
just need to ask you some questions. So we can understand what happened. Huh. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Ooh, okay. I don't even know what I'm doing what? here. What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Let's lie. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I will tell the truth. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I don't like the looks of this. I can't. Hmm. I won't be able to convince it. Probe its memory. Convince it. Threaten. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Terrify. They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop. It doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. Okay, so we're in optimal. Let's try to keep it that way. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. Fear of death. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. What about that statuette? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. What is that RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Huh. No more threats. No more humiliation. Does that mean... We does it have to do with deviancy in masses. androids? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. So it's some kind of angry god? Only RA-9. So it's probably who or what? RA-9. Who?
Who is RA9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. It wouldn't be a good place to hide if it wasn't for the blue blood. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But then he almost died. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Kill him, self-defense. But unfortunately, it was more than self-defense. else I can do? Maybe save him somehow? I kinda doubt it. I'm really scared now. I'm really scared what's gonna happen. Chris, lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Uh oh. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult and only make things harder. No! No, don't touch me! Intervene. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Intervene. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Intervene. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. I think we gained his trust. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. Okay, will someone tell me who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> and the way he says fuck, that's kinda weird. Everything is alright. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Inside of what? Maybe inside of all androids? Is that what he meant? I mean, he meant. Ooh, that actually went out quite well. I'm proud. So if I hadn't intervened, the android would have self-destructed and some shit would have hit the fan. But I'm glad I did intervene. Well, let's get on with the next chapter then. Let's see what happens. Who is that? Who am I playing as? Oh, Kara! The boss! Kara and Alice! Okay, we're leaving. Please don't cause us any trouble. We have to go. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Do you know 
if there's any other place we could spend the night. I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Okay, we get it. We'll find some other place. We won't cause you trouble. Please don't cause us trouble. Wait, did he actually intentionally, like, transfer her to some place? You gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh, she's so cold. I hope the hypothermia doesn't kick in. That's gonna be unfortunate if it does. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Okay, where can we go? What can we do in here? Can we talk to them? We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? They won't talk to us yet. They're not deviants. At least we tried. Okay, grab onto me, Alice. Come on. Okay, okay, you just follow me then. Huh. I noticed that the transition sound between gameplay and Mind Palace is different now. And look at all those floating things, floating lines. I think that's a sign that it's like broken now. How chaotic it is. A nice detail. I'm looking. Yeah, I know, I am looking around. By the way, there was really like no point in staying in the bus because then people would start seeing us and then we would have more trouble. Uh. Oh shit. Alice, where are you? Damn it. Oh my god. Where is she? Oh yeah, she went this way. Why? How? Dude, don't leave me like that, okay? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Yeah, sure you're not. You look lost. Oh crap! What the hell are you? I have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. I don't like the looks of that. Come on, Alice. Oh my god. She's. Whew. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Oh, fuck. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. But how? I'm not gonna use the gun. Can we? Can I talk to him? Okay. I think I'm gonna shoplift. What am I gonna do with that? Not much. 
He's not looking. He's not looking. Okay. Let's try. Shh, 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 shh. Don't make noise. Don't look this way. Steal. Oh no! The camera! Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Can I do something to it? I made a mistake. Can I like do something to disable the system? I'm an android, right? I can remote control stuff. Will I have to physically disable the cameras? Try something else. I mean... How could I use her anyway? Okay, you know what? I'm using Alice. Let's see what I can do. the looks of that. Jesus, but we do have cameras. Uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> the cameras will give us problems. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You bitch. I'm sorry, Alice. Apologize. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Okay. Now what? Now that we have some cash, maybe we could buy some clothes to disguise ourselves. need clothes. Where can we get some? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna steal some clothes and then I'm gonna rent a room. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Best not to disturb that guy. I can read that. Was there to read?
two pages, nothing interesting that much. No clothes in here. Sorry. Sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. I'm leaving. <sighs> Man. From murder to feet. Oh shit! We better leave as soon as possible. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Leave, leave, come on. Leave, leave. All right, we did good. Um, let's go to motel. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't even think this through. The police is nearby. They'll question us. Oh my god. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Sure. Just need your name and address. Oh no, the font. Can I see your driver's license? I left it in the car. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Oh! <gasps> Have a good night. Good night. Whew. It's quite awesome. Okay. So far, so good. I gotta remember the name. Archer. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Okay, okay, come on. Get up. I'm not exploring anymore. I don't want to get into any more trouble. I'm already into deep shit because of the cameras in the store. I fucked up there. Still have the gun. Here, give me your coat. I 
I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? Okay, let's reassure her for all the shit I did tonight. Remove. Um, let's do something else first. I'm gonna... I will leave these curtains on. And I should probably hide the gun. But it doesn't let me do that. Let's comfort her. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No, Alice, don't talk like that. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. He did love you, it was just those drugs, Why sweetie. Why couldn't just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Yes. Forever. Yeah, I'm wet, so, uh, <laughs> Doing good so far. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Uh, you should also hide that gun, like right now. Oh, it doesn't let me. Jesus. Oh, where's the light? There, it should be there. Okay. get in bed but wait can Kara sleep now does she need to sleep now since she's a deviant and all I mean is that how it works oh god damn that was a lot of choices Okay, I'm gonna do one more chapter for this episode, and then I'm done. This must be with Marcus now. Whoa, yes, I'm Marcus. I was definitely shot in the head by the police. Where am I? Oh, Jesus. Am I in a junkyard? Holy shit, dude, that's crazy! Oh my god. Impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Oh. 
That must be from the shot. Uh oh. I'm not doing too good right now. What else can I analyze? Fucked up. Okay. Place legs. Uh, how do I do that? Was actually mine. Okay, good. No, damn it. This makes me wonder. Are they really plastic? Because I'm sure that the sound I heard was metal right now. Okay. Okay, good. Now, uh, the other leg. I can use. Damn you, Leo. <gasps> He's talking. Oh, God. Left leg. But do I not already have that? Okay, okay, I didn't have it. Okay, sorry. Okay, I have legs now. Now I need to do something about the auto audio processor and the Ethereum plug pump, I mean. Okay, let's let's escape. This is not looking good. Oh Jesus! Jericho Ferndale. Got it. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my god. This turned horror really fast. Oh Jesus. Keep your hands off me, please. Playing again? Oh Jesus! Where are you going? Get off me! Ooh, guys, this is creepy. Okay, let's keep going. Damaging. Damn it. Nope. What about you? Incompatible. Damn it. No. No. 
Get off me. Whoa. Uh-oh, I'm getting worse. I best replace the components as soon as possible. Oh, yes, thank goodness. Okay, at least something. Come on. Okay. All right. Now I can hear normally again. Um, but I need to do something about the vision. Oh, I'm playing blurred out. Oh, I need to do something about that mind palace too. Jesus. Okay, come on, Marcus. You can do it. Okay, yeah, check that. Functional, yes. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. Sorry. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance center. Okay. Now one more component. Maybe I should take the other eye as well, just to match the color. Oh, okay, good. The mine palace is fully functional now. Okay, I'm going. I'm coming. I'm coming. What about this? You compatible? Oh, thank goodness. Let's replace that. Uh oh. I'll have to replace it in a, in a second. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Why do I have a feeling this won't be easy? Please, no more arms trying to grab me, okay? Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Don't fall. That music. We're back in business. No! Don't fall now. Come on. Oh, now he wants revenge. I was kind of expecting it to scream just now. Wait, can you talk? Oh, damn. There's no more LED. Oh. 
So now he disguises himself as a human. Clever. Uh, can you talk to me? Can I see that you can talk? My name is Marcus. Okay, good. Just what I wanted to hear. Shit's about to go down. Whew. Well, that's not a whole lot of choices I missed, so I don't feel bad. But what could I have done as well? Okay, well, that'll do it for this episode. This was... Although there wasn't that much action in it, it was intense. This episode took a turn for the horror, and I kinda like that touch. But, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, stay safe and take care of yourself. Goodbye.